Is that Slayer? Anyway, it's time for the Mayhem Comic of the Week, Tyler. Fuck! Oh. Tonight. Started off with a swear word. Dang it. Heck yeah! <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Dang it. Y'all darn it. God dang it. Okay. All right. Where is it? Upstairs. Why didn't you bring it? <laughs> so the book we're talking about today mm-hmm. is... Uh, oh, so... Black- oh, well, sorry. But first thing... Son uh, of a uh, J- James and Katie, I believe, uh, over at uh, Mer- Mayhem Comics yes. in Des Moines or Clive, um, go check them out. Uh, they, I, that's com- that's the place where I get all my comics. Yeah, Mayhem Comics. If you're in the area, uh, that's why it's called the Mayhem Comic. Mm-hmm. Of the week. So uh, once a week, they're gonna uh, shoot us something that they think is uh, really nice and not Marvel or DC. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And I, uh, Tyler kind of put the precedent there, and I really liked it. Uh, of getting books that we normally don't w- read or probably would pick up. Well, uh, this is an image for all comic. the trolls. I am a Marvel shill, and you are a DC shill. <sighs> okay, so we want to make sure so we cover some. This book is uh, called Black Cloak, written by Kelly Thompson. Uh, art, I think, ink and drawn by Art and Colors by yeah. Meredith McLaren and Becca Carey. Also. I believe she does the lettering, but. Interesting book. Now, mm-hmm. this is, again, why I like this segment, because this is a book that I probably would not pick up. This is a book that, you know, just looking at the cover, doesn't really it's image, appeal to me. I already said that. Um, why don't you it, listen to what I say? The first thing, the first uh, reaction, the, my first impression is Peach Momoko. Have you heard about her? She's, like, no. all over the place right now in Marvel. She's doing all these crazy, these in, insane these insanely beautiful painted like books that I bought one of them. It's not really my thing. It's more of a manga um, style, but she's like retelling these stories or she's telling stories with Marvel characters in these otherworldly like manga ways. It's manga. It's not manga. Manga. But my first impression is, is that it was, it was peach Momoko. And I was like, okay, well that's not obviously. Um, But yeah, it's a double sized issue. And I mean, it's five bucks, so you're getting a good amount of page numbers. Oh, right? yeah, it's it's definitely worth checking out. And uh, so, yeah, uh, Black Order, or sorry, Black Cloak. And uh, I think both, we kind of had both the same reaction, which was, um, we talked about a little offline. The first kind of half of the book, when it's kind of world building still, is a little bit confusing. But that's the mark, the mark of a good storyteller. And, and the two teller, the people, you know, Thompson and McLaren, the mark of a good story or storytellers is that, you know, if I wasn't interested enough to find out, then I would have stopped reading. Right. I'm interested enough in what you're giving me is enough. You're feeding me just enough to get me to bite. And and then once once you sink it in, you know, and, and get the story really going, that's when you got me hook, line, yeah. and sinker. I definitely enjoyed the second half a lot more. I think, yeah, the first... Well, and it, it's like you said, I have not read Saga, but I know what you're talking about. Where it's right. Like, it's the combination of, like, magic and sci-fi. And, and technology. Uh, and technology. Right. Be- because the black cloaks are kind of like magic cops. Um, and there's there's even, like, some royalty, like a, a member of... There's a of satire, a, you know, bartender at one point. There's mermaids. Or is it, it's, oh, is it, are you trying to... Mm. Satire? S A. Here you go, politicking again. Satire? Politicking with your pretension. What would you say they're called? Satyr? I don't know. Whatever. Satyr? The pan god looking motherfuck. <laughs> the goat looking bastard. <laughs> uh, but there's there's those there's elves. Yeah, there's uh, elves. Um, there's um, the, there's there's a smoke kid at one point. There's a kid made of smoke. Yeah. When they're you know there, but shitting the, all over. The corner was the like this like she had like these like bat wings. Yeah, there's weird. definitely flying shit. Yeah. Well, and her partner had wings that he, right. he had to fly after a dude. Right, 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 right. A right. crime scene. Yeah, but, yeah. like, the buddy cop shit is something I'll always like. I always love a good buddy cop story. Mm-hmm. Um, I did find it's interesting that there there was a whole, like, royal family still in this, like, technological, magical world. They say it's the last city in civilization. And mm-hmm. it's, I mean, it is interesting. Um the ending is pretty cr- and it's also weird because the art style feels like it could be like a it like a cartoon. Like, it looks like a cartoon at first. 
And then the more you look at it, the better. Like, honestly, I really like the art style. I think it really works for the story it's telling. But at first, it was kind of like I had to adjust to it. And I could totally see this being like, um, like, like an adult the, swim if, show. Well, if the war in Saga ever ends, I could totally see this being like a hundred or like a thousand years afterwards. Something like that. But I, no, I don't I think it. they're connected at all. But there's enough of a there's enough of a you know kind of like huh like if I'm if I'm a uh, fuck what's the name of the guy who writes uh, Saga fuck. Uh, Fiona. That's uh, Brian K. Vaughn, isn't it? If I'm Brian K. Vaughn, I'm giving Kelly Thompson a call and being like, <clears throat> so where'd you get the idea for this? It's, I don't think it takes that much. From no, Saga. but it's so... Hey, I haven't read Saga either, so I don't know. They're very similar. I think you gave me volume one. I need to read it. Hey. F- hey. Guy. Hey. Hey, you guy. I gotta stop um, swearing on this. Overall, segment. now, would I say, mm. would I say pick it up for five bucks? I think so. I think that it's an entertaining book. I think, again, it's not something I normally would read, but mm-hmm. it, it it hooked me enough to keep reading and keep being interested in the world. Here's one thing we do know. And I would read it. I would read the second issue. Kelly Thompson has a lot of books on the market. Yeah. So he or she, I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman, because there's guys named Kelly. But, but uh, I mean, really, let's just say this. Sure. Kelly Thompson yeah. um, has a lot of books on the market, so they are pro- prolific uh, writers. Um, so if you are a fan, uh, y- you may well have read some of their work already. And if you're a fan of their work, uh, definitely pick it up because it's, it's worth it. And, and, uh, I'm assuming I, I can imagine she or he has a style, um, of writing that kind of draws people into it. Again, she has like seriously like 14, like other series in the back of this and she's, book. And she's been in the business a while. So that's what I thought. I thought she was a girl. She used to whatever. It's not important. I'm just saying she's she's been writing for Marvel and DC. So she, yeah, she's worked yeah, for the big yeah. publishers and stuff. Yeah, so um, you know, create her own, so that's awesome. Um, but yeah, if you're buying independence, you know you're going to pay a little more. That's just the way it is. They don't have the distribution and shit. But that, I mean, for five Marvel bucks, does. you're getting a good chunk. Of it's the a issue. good book for. It's a good book for five bucks. Yeah. If you're at the if you're at the comic shop and you're like, man, you know, whatever you usually collect is is kind of thin that week, you know, go right. check out Black Cloak because it's definitely. I'll say this, she said to me uh, when when she was trying to think of which book to give me, she was like, "What was it that I just read that I was like, oh, I can't wait till issue number two. I won't say I can't wait till issue number two, but it may be on my uh, on my pull list from now on, if you know what yeah. I mean." And I'm talking about at the comic shop. That sounded really creepy. Yeah, Jeez. I don't know why you said it. Like if you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm going to pull some. All right, Tyler. I think that's. Uh, so thanks to uh, Ma'am and James and yeah, Katie. Thanks. Uh, thanks so much. And uh, yeah. I always awesome. wanted to support local uh, shops. Yeah, no. Awesome. And we get to talk about comic books. Uh. Is that Slayer? 